this was uh, something that you guys actually recommended me in chat. Was this? I like to call it the railgun. Uh, people like to call it all kinds of different things. Basically, it's just a bunch of hypertube entrances, and it can launch you serious amount of distance. It's my favorite way of transportation. It's just so fast. It's crazy. Now, I didn't come up with this. Uh, you guys sent me some pictures. I don't know. There's really a proper credit to who came up with this, and I guess everybody has their own little adaptation, but it's pretty simple, you know, just hyper tubes. The, the key is these missing spaces and these entrances, it boosts your speed massively. This is 13 entrances, which is my favorite amount personally. It keeps you low enough so you don't break the cloud barrier and you can't see anything below you, which is really nice for when I want to show you guys the factory and uh, gets you a really far distance. You got to be careful depending on your starting elevation, anywhere from like 15 to 20 could actually send you into the skybox and kill you. So you want to watch out for that. Um, building them, I guess, is pretty easy. You just want the tube support itself. And then the tube. And you just place them like this, right? And you just keep placing it like that. And you place a lot of them. Like, it takes, like, a, what? Like, 26 stacks to do these 13 entrances. And then once you've placed them all out, you just want to count them. So that's going to be your first entrance, your first section of tube. So you're going to delete that. And there's some debate as to whether this is going to lose you some speed. So what I usually do is delete it and then replace it. So it's not attached, per se. I don't know if that actually does anything or is worth doing. That's something you're going to have to experiment with. Then, yeah, you just slap the entrances on, connect it. Um, I like having this little tail on the end. It kind of sets your flight path. So I haven't really played around with a lot of different angles or anything, but I find this is about ideal. I'll just give you a quick little show on our trip here. I've actually changed two of them together so I can travel even further. And off we go. Yeah, really helpful to have a jetpack. Although, you can use parachutes to aid you in this transportation. Or if you just aim for water, I suppose you could survive. That way as well. And, uh, yeah. It almost takes you, like, halfway across the map. Even just those 13, you know? Now, you don't want to chain these together. I did once, like, come flying in and hit that, and I picked up so much speed that it killed me and sent me off the map. So, really recommend against that. Make sure you land and then run into it. Because, again, you gotta be, like, so careful with this, man. You will send yourself into the wall so fast. Like, it's an exponential increase in your speed. It's, it builds up really quickly. And uh, if you fall off the map like that, you most likely will lose your whole inventory. So worth doing some auto saves or some manual saves while you're testing it out. But yeah, that's it. There it is. The railgun.